Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I would be explaining you how you can solve the Clens construction problem that is how you can solve the velocity and acceleration diagram of a slide deck rank mechanism using Clens construction method. So before starting with the video if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button below. Also check out my other videos all the links are given in the description. If you find this video helpful please like the video if you have any doubt please comment on the video also please follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all the links are given in the description now starting with the video now this was the cleanse construction so this is applicable remember this is applicable only for slider crank mechanism in this method what you have to do first you have to make the configuration diagram that is you have to make o a b as per the dimensions given now OA is the crank AB is the connecting rod and B is the slider so first you have to make this mechanism as per the dimensions given then what you have to do then you have to take the midpoint of AB that is you have to take the midpoint of the connecting rod and you make a circle taking radius BG or AG you make a cent you make a circle taking radius equal to BG or AG with the center G so you will make this circle the big circle also project the point of intersection of the connecting rod and the crank that is this is the point A that is the point that lie on the intersection of crank and connecting rod OA and AB so you project this point A you extend you extend AB you extend AB and you draw perpendicular from point O so wherever they meet this, this you have to extend this you have to make perpendicular so wherever they meet you call it some point I have said to be M so this is one point now you have to draw another circle taking radius equal to AM AM is the radius now you draw another circle wherever these two circles intersect they intersect at two points these circles intersect at two points one is point this n i have shown and other point is this you need not show all right now you get two points one point is this and one point you join these two points so the line intersects the connecting rod at some point so I have named it G I have named it Q so you have to obtain two points one is Q and one is the lower point of the intersection of two circles I have named it N now you join O N N Q and A N so now velocity triangle would be O A M and acceleration diagram would be o a q n now how you can solve the slider crank problem very in very short time just by using the cleanse construction now you have got these triangles so you measure the dimensions now what you have to do first let me show what is the actual velocity and acceleration diagram of slider crank mechanism so this upper diagram is the velocity diagram of slider crank mechanism and the lower diagram is the acceleration diagram of the slider crank mechanism I hope you are familiar with the velocity and acceleration diagram I have taken point O then I have taken omega that is the angular velocity clockwise so from from O this is clockwise so A A would be at 90 degree so from OA perpendicular to OA I have made A then from A I have made perpendicular to AB and from O because it is sliding motion so I have made linear wherever it intersect it is point B similarly I have made acceleration diagram that is I have taken point O dash now I have taken point O dash now A point 
centripetal acceleration of a point with respect to o will be downward so i have got a dash now from a dash centripetal component of b with respect to a will be in this direction and this i have got this point i have named it as p and from here we have to make perpendicular now we still did not have got a b dash point so from o dash you make linear because it is sliding motion wherever it intersects this will be point b dash now you join o a dash b dash you show the arrows now how you have to solve the problems using clens construction so we have this diagram first you make these two diagram roughly then you have to use these equations equation 1 and equation 2 now oa upon oa is equal to ab upon am is equal to ob upon om is equal to omega now what is this oa we check this diagram this diagram oa because these two triangles are similar this triangle and triangle oam is similar and quadrilateral o dash b dash p and a dash is similar to quadrilateral oa qn all right now using the similarity concept oa upon oa is equal to ab upon am is equal to ob upon om is equal to omega that is the angular velocity of the crank this is already known in the question so you can find out the corresponding oa is equal to omega into oa distance oa length is already given of the crank so just by multiplying omega into oa you get velocity of point a with respect to o similarly velocity of ab is equal to omega into am distance this you measure from a scale you multiply by omega you get the velocity ab similarly velocity of b with respect to o b with respect to o is omega into om you measure this distance om multiply by omega you get value of velocity of b with respect to o now velocity is clear if you have any doubt please mention in the comment so i can uh, tell you once again now you go to quadrilateral o a q n that is similar to quadrilateral o dash a dash p and b dash now again using the similarity concept so a dash b dash upon an now where what is a dash b dash a dash b dash this that we have joined later so a dash b dash upon an an this we have joined similar concept c this smaller triangle corresponds to this smaller triangle and this bigger triangle corresponds to this bigger triangle o a n corresponds to triangle o dash a dash b dash and a n q corresponds to a dash b dash p so you have to use the similar triangle concept in these two triangles first i have taken a smaller triangle so a dash b dash upon a n that is a dash b dash upon a n a n is equal to o dash b dash upon o n is equal to o dash b dash upon o n o n this i have taken larger triangle then o dash a dash upon o a o dash a dash upon o a then a dash p dash a dash p upon q n a dash p upon q n is equal to b dash p upon a q b dash p upon a q so you have to take the corresponding ratio similar triangle concept you have to use this triangle a dash b dash p similar to triangle a q n and triangle o dash b dash a o dash a dash b o dash a dash b dash similar to triangle a n o then you have to take the corresponding ratio and 
equal to omega square then you can easily find a dash b dash is equal to omega square into a n a n you measure similarly o dash b dash is equal to omega square into o n omega square into o n similarly o dash a dash is equal to omega square into o a o a is already known a dash p dash a dash p is equal to omega square into q n you correspondingly multiply so q n you measure q n b dash p is equal to omega square into a q so a q you measure similarly you can get all the corresponding values that you require all the corresponding acceleration that you require are easily obtained so a dash p corresponds to the radial acceleration of point b with respect to a and b dash p respect uh, corresponds to the tangential acceleration of point b with respect to a o dash b dash is the acceleration of the slider with respect to the fixed point o and a dash b dash is the total acceleration of b dash with respect to total acceleration of point b with respect to a and o dash a dash is the radial acceleration of point a with respect to o so using these two similar triangle concept you can easily solve any question of slider crank mechanism in which you have to find any velocity or particular acceleration so you, you can easily do i hope my video is helpful to you if you have found this video helpful please like the video please mention in the comments if you have any feedback or doubt also check out my other videos all the links are given in the description please follow me on facebook twitter and google plus uh, just search the name mechanical engineering explained and uh, i have given the links also in the description below please do follow me and uh, till next time take care bye bye